Hey class, it's Mr. Dow, and I just wanted to uh, take you through a brief tutorial of how to navigate our course uh, this winter in English 101. Um, start here at our course card to get into the class itself, which you've probably already seen if you're watching this video. I took the dude from the Big Lebowski mainly because of this expression he's got, which I, I that is in honor of all people that try to take two classes in the winter or the summer. <laughs> you have a very uh, crazed attitude, so... So that's for you. All right, here's our class. Um, what, what I do for the home page, uh, I just basically put you right to the modules. A module is just a fancy word that the system Canvas uses for um, uh, the group of exercises or assignments for each week. So I said I'm going to set up the course for every week uh, from beginning to end. You see right now I've only got one module actually finished. Uh, modules two through six I'll put up this week. But when it's over, you'll have this. Is, these are all these assignments are listed here from beginning to end. So there's never a point in time when you should say, what am I supposed to do next? It's all right here. I just want to point out a couple things about this um, and then you can actually get started. So each week when you are ready to start doing the work, do not assume that you have to work your way through all of these. You do, but that is not the complete list of assignments. So see the complete list of assignments always start here. I'll put this on every week, what to do and think about this week. And so start there and that is the complete list of assignments. Um, you see, we've got, I've got 11 things to do uh, this week by Saturday. What, uh, what happens is the other stuff in, our, the other stuff in the modules basically uh, some of it's links to some of this stuff. So I've got on this list, you have how to navigate the class. Number two, take the syllabus quiz available on this module. That means it's not here. You go back to the module, um, and you see there's the syllabus quiz there, and I would go in there and do that quiz. So basically, don't assume that, what's the, that what you see here in the module is the full list. Always remember there's some stuff on the first uh, page here that you need to work with um, uh, on its own. It's not going to be represented in the rest of this uh, module list. Uh, for example, the four tendencies quiz, which you have to take, um, that's available here through this link. Uh, there's nothing about it on the module after this page. Same thing here, where you have to watch this Gretchen Rubin video. That's right here on this on this link. So basically, this is the list. The, this is the master list, is what to do and think about this week, each week. Uh, when you're ready to, you know, you want to actually go to one of these other things, you hit next at the bottom of the page here. I don't know if I can do that with my picture right there. So I'll just go to home. Um, and you can go, go into each of these things. The syllabus quiz, you're just doing to make sure that you have seen the syllabus, uh, just trying to check your understanding of how the class works. On the left-hand side, um, well, I'm looking at this from a teacher's point of view. I don't see the student view. What, the student view should only have these things on it. There are many other things, many other options I could have put here. I chose not to. I tried to keep this as simple as possible so that you understand really all your home and modules are the same thing, basically. Uh, you can access your grades. You can check out a syllabus. You can check out the library. Those are the things you really need in this class. Uh, if there's something else you need, it's on the modules um, in the order that you're supposed to get to it. Uh, the syllabus is a fairly lengthy little document here. Um, oh, there's our owl popped in. Uh, the syllabus, you do have to read it. Uh, like You know, it might like to skim it, but the fact is that our first assignment is a syllabus quiz that tests your understanding of the syllabus. The reason I do that is because uh, so many people have difficulty with this course because they don't really get it until two or three weeks in, and then it's just too late. There's no way to catch up at that point. Uh, you need to kind of get it in the very beginning. How, what it, how does this course work? What's going to happen here? And by reading the syllabus, you can get that information. All right, so um, you don't have a lot of options over there, but basically those are all the options you actually need to successfully get to this course. Uh, there are a couple of things about what, the, what you're going to be asked to do. Um, like I said, that's the only real quiz where there's a multiple choice and you pick, you pick the answer you think is right. It's basically testing did you understand the syllabus. If you have to answer a discussion question, and you see there's a couple discussions for this week, uh, one of the, like for example, one discussion, I'm asking these questions, uh, you would post a reply. You would go to where it says reply, click on it, and enter your own answer. And then hit post. You can see I've already answered this one for you. I'd like to read what your uh, own response is. In a discussion uh, assignment, everybody in the class will be able to read what you wrote. And sometimes I'll ask you to respond to other people in the class. Discussion two, my tendency based on the material I'm asking you to do here and uh, what to do and think about this week. And then exercise is different than a discussion. Let's take a look at this exercise. Um, I ask you some questions again, but when you are uh, when um, you are ready to answer them, there'll be a you know, on the student version. There's a submission button up here. You'll click it. You'll get a blank spa blank box to uh, put your response in. And those exercises go only to me. Other people do not see them. And there's almost always a point total listed with them. There is no point total ever listed on the discussion responses, although they do call for points. So you get discussions, you have exercises. 
here, this right here, this is just this is simply a page to give you some information. Uh, in this case, it's crucial information because um, this movie, this film, Hoop Dreams, is the, what we're basically writing about throughout the class. So, uh, this page, I'm going to give you basic information, and I've linked to a PDF that uh, you have access to, and you need to go through that. Um, but there's nothing, there's no specific assignment related to that. And other than that, let me see. I have another exercise too on uh, first take on Hoop Dreams. That's where I ask you some questions. And a mechanics uh, review, this is also an exercise, I can tell, because the little icon over here at the left, pencil means, oh, I've got to turn something in to Mr. Dow. It's going to Mr. Dow. Discussion, there's little word balloons there, and that tells you that um, this is something everybody's going to read. Uh, that's basically it as far as how the course is going to work. Like I say, you're going from week one through week six in this order. I recommend you do it in this order. Don't skip around. Um, the, well, one thing I would say, which becomes clear as you read the syllabus, is that uh, uh, several of the assignments as we go along are assignments that you must get okayed or approved before you can move on. There is no way to skip assignments. In other words, if you're getting to step number two in the process, you can't go to step three until you finish step two. And you can't finish step two until uh, I've said, yeah, this is good, move on. Um, that means that um, you want to start your weeks early and not assume that everything's going to work perfectly the first time. And you don't want to skip a week. You don't want to miss a few days. There's, just, there's simply no time. Uh, English 101 is a four-unit transfer class. That means uh, it's a four-unit class that should be that's normally laid out in 15 weeks. I am not free to cut stuff. I have to kind of cover all that material in six weeks. So there's a lot to do each week. This is pretty standard. Uh, a couple weeks will have more, a lot more stuff than this. So, but basically that's it. That's the, I'm trying to keep the course as simple as possible. And so, um, you know, there, it, it, you shouldn't be getting lost if nothing else. If you have uh, mechanical problems or computer problems or some sort of issues with any of the links here, you want to let me know as soon as possible. Uh, communicate with me uh, as quickly as you can. On the syllabus, my contact information is right here at the front. Uh, my office. I will. I do make hours available throughout the winter if you need them. That's the phone. And the simplest and fastest way is always use my Citrus email. All right. So um, that's basically it. Like I said, if you if you've been on if you're watching this video, that's telling me that you uh, have actually you've been on you've learned Canvas enough to at least get onto the class site. Um, I'm going to be asking you to send me an email response early this week. Uh, if I haven't heard from you by the end of the week. Uh, I will tend to drop you because it's too late to start in the second week in this class. Okay, um, you know, don't get intimidated by the syllabus. Uh, let me know if you have problems. I'm here to help you, and I hope you do well in the class. But, um, yeah, send questions if you have them. All right, everybody, get out there. Do that work. <laughs>